about, uh, you know, it's such a high-profile fight, fighting uh, uh, Chris. Uh, did you approach this fight any different? Do you feel more nervous before this fight? No, I'm not feel more nervous. I'm very confident. And every fight you're giving, like, uh, all yourself for training and for fight, every fight important, so you just next step up. Everyone that fights Chris, they no, they very few are given a chance, you know. They're almost like sacrificial lambs going in there. So what's your mindset? You know, I know you believe in yourself. You're the only one that has to believe in yourself. So uh, where does that come from? Where did you get the confidence? Uh, you know, my team helped me a lot. They all support me and they believe in me. My teammates, my coach, and uh, think that uh, all other girls, uh, Chris Cyborg finished like, very fast. I think they were small, not strong, and Holly shows that uh, she beatable and uh, she was very close to beat her so I was getting ready and feel confident I appreciate it best of luck to you thank you have you been working with the UFC for quite a while to to get your first fight in the UFC uh, I think we signed contract with UFC like two and a half months before and there was changing for me different girls different like show so I didn't know when we will fight, which weight class, and uh, we take this fight like three weeks before, in short notice. It's, it's, it's your debut and you're fighting for a world title. It's obviously a huge stage compared to where you fought before. Does that play into your mind at all or is it just another day at the office? No, I feel confident and uh, all these things not affecting me. I'm just focused with, fight, with my fight and I'm uh, happy not about title, I'm happy that I'm fighting Chris Cyborg. As, as mentioned before, you know, Chris is probably the highest profile female fighter in the world. She's devastated a lot of opponents. You mentioned the Holly Home fight showed you an outlet to victory. What exactly do you see in Cyborg's weaknesses that you can exploit? I think last fight uh, showed a lot because uh, Holly was the same big and strong, all other girls were small. And uh, it shows that uh, she was competing good, she, the fight was very good, she won some rounds and we was walking on this, we saw like some weakness and like strong part and weak part, we was walking on this, so I feel confident. If you, if you beat her, you'll most likely have to fight an immediate rematch. Is that something you thought about or are you just this fight first and that's it? I didn't go to again, please. Uh, if you beat Chris, uh, yeah. you'll have to do an immediate rematch. Uh, if you thought about that at all, or is it just this fight first? I'm just now focused with, uh, with things what I should do now. How uh, integral, how big of a part of your camp was Holly Holm? Um, we're helping each other every camp, and uh, I'm so happy that I have her in, in Jackson Wing. She like being strong, and probably it's only one strong woman what I what I meet in my career. So I'm happy that we, so I have her in my camp. Yeah, we we haven't heard her speak since the fight. What did she say to you about her fight against Cyborg? Was she proud of her performance? What did she feel about the fight? Uh, I think she believes that she can make, she can do it better, that she can win uh, Cyborg, and uh, uh, she won't rematch so much. I think she can, she can beat her. If if they will get rematched, Holly will beat her. What happens when you win and Holly wants to fight? Are you guys, will you guys ever fight? I know we're gonna fight with Holly. No, yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Thank you. Jan.